These are the uncut WCW, and they have Stone Cold's rookie on them. Oh. <laughs> we'll return after these messages. Yeah! It's the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. Time to start the show. Talking things and collectibles. Here we are, let's go. Hey guys, welcome everyone to the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast YouTube channel. I'm here, it says closed, a walk in time, but I'm the thousand dollar broski. They open for me. Let's go inside and scratch that figure itch. All right, we got real Ghostbusters, Firehouse. Look at this, all this stuff. This store is incredible. I just walked in. I want, wow, look, look at Anakin Skywalker cardboard cutout over there. Um, holy cow, some Hercules stuff. Let's see what they got. I gotta leave with something. Ghostbusters. Damn, oh look, look at that OG down there. All right, so this is the Eternia playset. They just came out with this, just redid it. It's $900 in the store now. <laughs> back then it was $89. It was Jesus. too much for me back then, but uh, the biggest playset there is, the box is right here for it. Oh my God. Um, this was actually found in Goodwill. Around what? One of my buddies <laughs> brought this to me after finding it in Goodwill, but 99 Wait, so it comes with these like tower things over here, everything? Yeah, this actually connects to this. What? Connects the? to this, and then it goes to Castle Grayskull. Holy shit, yeah, that's and cool. This connects to that, and then connects to Snake <laughs> Mountain. And it has a tram, the all, there's a track that goes around it, and a tram right. just follows. So I'm not a He-Man guy, but this is fucking, what is this, what is this, the price on something like this nowadays? Uh, the box alone sells for $3,000. <laughs> uh, oh my God. The, the instructions are like 300 bucks itself. I had an extra one of these. I sold one of these for $200. What just, the hell? just the Griffin. So it's. Oh my God. This isn't for sale though. It's the oh, okay. of my store. Well, you just, you got these Hasbro rigs up there. Just, just side Hasbro rigs. Oh. What is this place? <laughs> This wait, is. A wait till you see the back office. When you see the back <laughs> office, you'll, you'll go nuts. Or the dungeon that Alan's starting to clean up. Oh right boy. There. The dungeon's completely full of open toys. There's a whole back room, nothing but. I cannot toys. wait to check this out. Look at this. You could be your own Stang right there. Unbelievable. Look, all these WCW figures. We're doing a uh, a Christmas episode on just the history of these figures. So I feel like I got to leave with some of them. Uh -oh. You might want this one then, because this is a Jerry Sags with Brian. Ah, oh, this is the, the, uh, the KB uh, Heels and Faces line. And it's got the wrong figure with it. It's Brian wow. Lyles, it's Jerry Sags, but that's the original 98s. Heath would love these masks, holy cow. All right, so this is the WCW original San Francisco Toy Maker Series 1 Flair. I have the blue variant. I feel like since this is Series 1, I need to be a complete as a Series 1, so I need the purple one. But the blue one, the one I have, is way more rare. Woo! Bro, are these are the cards, the uncut cards? These are the uncut WCW, and they have Stone Cold's rookie on them. Oh. <laughs> the Hollywood vibe on this one. What? Right now, are these originals or is this a reproduction? No, these are all test runs. They ran, they did these before they actually make the cars. To and sure. are all these the same or they're all different? They're all the same. I'm about to leave with one of these. Oh, what's the, what's what, the, wait, can I show you the uncut ones in the back? I have NWA uncut what? ones in the back. Bro, this is insane. <laughs> Got a little Scott Hall collection over here. Some LOD spikes. What else is over here? There's some Star Trek stuff. Damn. What the? Just anything you can think of here. A little, little Stella, a little Seamus over here. Star Wars stuff. Oh man, I'm so tempted to start this X-Men clip. What? Hold on one sec. This Tailspin, this Beetlejuice. Oh man, I think I'm gonna leave with that. The collector case. Oh boy. 
All right, so this Beetlejuice case, I need it. I was checking if it has the inserts. It does, gonna get that, but check this out here. The Command Compound, I've been kicking the tires on this for a long time, but I need it. I need it mint. Really all I want though is the, uh, the gate, that Jurassic Park gate, but damn, that's so damn cool. Collection of of Hasbro, some, oh my God, you need a Bushwhacker demolition collection? What up, dude? Look at all, some TNA DVDs. All these figures over here. Oh my God, a Sting kite, unreal. These are the NWA uncut cards. What? And you got them signed? I'm trying to get everyone that's... <laughs> oh my God. But uh, This is... Four Horsemen, I press. Damn. This is wild. Ron Simmons went nuts over these when he signed them. This is, where'd you get this? A little doot, 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 Michael Hayes, look at that. I lucked into a guy who had, that Sting's rookie card. Whoa. That's wild. That's so cool. That is sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I have three of those. What? I'm going to send this to Cody right now. Heath would love this, eh? Soda can topper, a, a CD wallet. There's some Sting walkie talkies, a keychain. This is Heath's section. He'd be in heaven right now. American Gladiators. I remember Zap was so hard to get. I have, I have all the play sets for myself. Really? There. I got to see. I, I, I love them. Wow. These are so cool. Actually, a vent worn. Are you kidding me? It's a vent worn on WCW. All right, this is cool, but let's let's talk about this. Right? Uh, I, actually, <laughs> I brought him in for a wrestling con. What? <laughs> he was a pretty cool guy. No, he's the best. Yeah, Look, yeah, these are all autographed. Yes, sir. Um, and you got some rare stuff autographed. You have the snake, bro. That's nuts. When he signed this, he said he's never saw it before, but it actually is Damien in the bag. Yeah, that I have. I, I can't believe he's never seen it, but wow. I, I, I still love that. Rock and Roll. The Hasbro. Rock and Roll Express is the reason I started liking wrestling, so. This is a hell of a display over here. Wow. Just. What the? Just. As far as you can, there's 40 boxes. What the Ewok villages are right, right here. There's three of them over there. What the? There's the Defiant of G.I. Joe. There's another Ewok village. There's like thousands of dollars worth of stuff in here, like without a doubt. As far as it goes, <laughs> man. Oh my G. God. G.I. Joe. What the? This is. Everything to the old lady's tanning bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing, the only thing in the shop she cares about. Oh right? my right. god, this is I love it. I love it. Oh my god, this is wild. Absolutely wild. So if you need it, let me know. I'll get it for you. <laughs> I guarantee it. This is one of the coolest ideas I've ever seen. What? This is awesome. I might have to steal this or something. We are here, ASW. Who's the face of the company? Is it me? Is it Heath? Is it Swaggle? Is it Chelsea? Is it Brian? No. It's Gary Damron. All right, the debut merch table exclusive Bendy's. Grady. You are the first person in the world to have, besides myself. You know that? Let it dry. It's his birthday. Happy birthday, look at that. <laughs> All right, what are you showing me here, pal? And you want me to sign this? Yes, it will go on my wall of autographs. This is going on your wall. Oh yeah, I have my wall of pictures. I'm not autographs. judging you, pal, but. You can judge, I don't care. Look at that package. Hey.
back in my hotel. Pretty successful day if you ask me. Look at this, we're turning the Striz app. Some WCW figures. Don't forget to watch the complete history of original San Francisco toy makers, WCW figures coming to YouTube. Christmas morning, Beetlejuice carrying case, and some moonshine from Gary Denmark. We get wild tonight in my hotel room. <laughs> All right, we got some new tag team champions, the major wrestling figure podcast, and whatnot, the ultimate tag team. I'm loving it. It's like Instagram Live meets eBay. It's uh, it's the next big thing, and I'm not talking about Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, we will actually be on there every week, 6.30 p.m. on Mondays Eastern, and we're going to be doing live auctions from things in our personal collection, from things that we are finding in the wild anything you want i mean crazy rare stuff. rare wrestling collectibles rare collectibles from other genres ring worn gear from our careers or yeah what other friends. what other seller or whatnot has ring worn sweaty trunks <laughs> like the major wrestling podcast <laughs> exactly but obviously wrestling figures lots and lots of wrestling figures and other Mark, don't Wars. forget my original Funko Purge. I'm purging my Funkos finally. How many would you say you have? 500? Almost a thousand to get rid of. Thousand Whoa. Funko Pops coming. Every week. Every purging week. Those Funkos. And here's what you do, guys. Whatnot is an app. You download the app on your phone. You look around. You search for Major WF Pod. You follow us there. And then you follow the action figure category because we know that you, just like us, are action figure fans. So that's all you got to do. Follow along. Join in on our auctions. Look at other auctions. I mean, dude, you'll get into it. I, I and, Sometimes I'm just up late in my bed just looking to see who's on and what's going on because exactly. it's so much fun. And you can become a seller. Sell your own stuff. Exactly. That's yeah. This is the next big thing. So get in it now.